Tonight, Pawtucket's mayor is hopeful to keep some health services in the city, even if Memorial Hospital closes. We've been tracking the hospital's financial struggles, which have led to this proposed closure. The hospital's parent company, Care New England, announced last week that it will shut down. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lasciuto spoke with Mayor Don Grebian tonight. She joins us now from Pawtucket with the latest. Sheena. Both the mayor and staff with Care New England tell me that the absolute priority is making sure the patients at Memorial Hospital are taken care of right now. The mayor says much is still up in the air, but he hopes to have some more information in the next few days. Mayor Grebian says the first of many meetings as a result of the announcement of Memorial Hospital closing took place on Friday. Officials, including Mayor Diosa of Central Falls and both the COO and CFO of Care New England, met to discuss plans moving forward. Frustrations on both sides and the breakdown, not having communication, and they were good about it. You know, we got everything out on the table. I always say it's like the family dinner at Thanksgiving, right? You flush it out. A spokesperson with Care New England confirmed to Eyewitness News that the hospital system stands by their announcement. They plan on filing to close emergency and inpatient services in the next few weeks. However, they are working with both the city and the state to talk about access to health care in the community. They had uh, said that they were looking at a plan to keep some services there. We don't know to what degree. Mayor Grebian says he believes hiring a special master would help the transition process. He's looking to find a solution that keeps primary and emergency health services in Pawtucket. We've had multiple conversations with the governor, um, the governor's office. Uh, we've brought on an attorney. The mayor says multiple meetings are set up this week to further discuss. They haven't shared what they're on board with. They've said to us that they're going to hold off on doing the reverse CON and they're going to lay out something that they think is feasible to them. Don't know what that is. And at that point there, once we do that, uh, we may agree to disagree or we may agree. And Governor Armando said late today that she has secured commitments from the heads of lifespan and charter care hospital groups to hire Memorial's employees if it closes. She says there should be enough vacancies so that no one is out of a job. Reporting live in Pawtucket tonight, I'm Sheena Lashuto, Eyewitness News.